Are you worried about bots, fake and spammy clicks completely ruining your budget in Google Ads? Never fear because in this video, I'm gonna take you through the step-by-step -step process that I use in order to drastically reduce the amount of wasted budget from untargeted and also spammy traffic. And right from the start, I wanna clear up a question that I get a lot of the time and it revolves around, do I use third-party bot spamming software like ClickSees and its competitors? And to answer that question, straight up in one word, the answer is no. And the reason for why I don't use these third-party anti-spam bot blocking services in Google Ads is for two reasons. And the first reason for that is because a key way that these services work is that they share data between different accounts, especially when it comes around to IPs and banning of certain IPs. So if you've got users in these services which are being over aggressive in the IPs that they are banning, it's highly likely that those IPs will also be banned in your account. And that could be some high quality quality traffic. Also on top of that, I find that they are over aggressive towards VPNs. And there are a lot of real reasons for why people use VPNs. And just because someone is using a VPN, it doesn't mean that they are fake traffic or a bot. And the second reason, and this is probably the most important reason, is that when I've tested this, and when I've taken on multiple accounts that were using services like ClickSees, when I would turn off ClickSees, we would see no significant decrease in results. And in fact, as we went through our optimization process, we would see month on month improvement of results. And for me, that's where it really comes down to the crux of it, is that if I'm gonna be paying extra for third party services to help me manage my Google Ads campaigns, it needs to do two things. Firstly, it needs to either reduce the workload, or secondly, it needs to significantly increase the results. And I find with these bot blocking third party systems, they just don't do either of them. So that's why I don't personally use them. So with that said, I just wanted to get that out of the way because that is a question that I get a lot. I wanna now take you through the four things that I want you to focus on in order to get better results with your Google Ads campaigns by reducing unwanted, untargeted, and spammy traffic. And two of these are gonna be more technical, which is really gonna help reduce the traffic. And then the other two is more about the optimizations and the way that you optimize your Google Ads account. Because what I find when a lot of people say about spammy traffic, they don't only mean bots, but they also refer to the fact that they've got a lot of clicks and not many conversions, or they're getting low quality conversions. And a lot of those low quality conversions are real people, it's just that they're not the right targeted people. And so that we don't need to stop as we go through the process. If you wanna know exactly how to optimize your Google Ads campaigns the right way, and also laying out how often you should complete all of these tasks, because there are some optimization tasks in Google that you need to complete weekly, where there's others that you only complete once a month, and then there's others that you're only completing every 60 or 90 days. And if you wanna get access to my Google Ads optimization checklist, all you need to do is to follow that link in the description below. But with all of that said, let's now get into the four ways that you can reduce untargeted and spammy traffic in your Google Ads campaigns. And the first one is actually outside of your Google Ads dashboard. That is that I highly recommend that on your website that you've installed ReCapture version three. After you finish watching this video, if you go down to the description, I'll include a link where you can actually get some more information about this tool and how you can install it to your website. But over the past 12 months, we've had four different service-based businesses that we've taken on. And one of the first actions that we did was that we added in ReCapture version three to their website. And in all cases, we saw at least 75% increase in the reduction. So we saw an improvement in the quality of their leads. And this is one of the first things that we do if we're doing an audit of an account where the person is saying that they're getting a lot of spammy traffic, that's step one. So make sure you go through and add ReCapture version three onto your website and when you go through to that link, it'll include all the information in terms of how that works and the benefits of adding that to your website. And the second thing that you need to do is that you need to make sure that you're using the correct location settings in your Google Ads campaign. And the way that you do this is, and this is especially true if you're targeting particular locations, I would only be using the location setting not location and presence. If you're not aware of that, there's two differences when it comes to your location settings in Google Ads, is that when you choose your location targets, you've got a further option where you can actually choose whether you wanna target people based by location or location and interest, with the difference being that location-based means that they're people who 
live or work in their actual targeted areas, whereas the interest targeting is about people who have an interest or they've completed some different searches about your location. So they're outside of your location, but their search history is showing interest in that location that you're targeting. And my general recommendation is just to use location only targeting if you are seeing the influx of spammy or non-targeted traffic. And the way that you do that is you go into your location settings, when you're in your location settings, you then choose the presence only option and that turns off that interest based targeting. Now, as I said, those first two points are more gonna be technical. Now for this third and fourth point, it's coming into the way that you optimize your traffic because as I said at the start of this video, is that when people talk about spammy traffic, it's generally coming from two different areas, the true spammy bot based traffic. And then I also find that the second reason for why people are saying they've got spammy traffic is that it's actually unrelated traffic traffic. And the two ways that you can really stop your unrelated traffic apart from the thing that I know everyone knows about adding in good negative keywords and having good keyword themes. I want to talk about two other areas and the first one is your actual ad copy. And what you want to do with your ad copy is you want to use stronger ad copy that actually refines or pre-qualifies your traffic. So for example, if you are a more expensive service, so your competitors may have a price of $49 a month, your price might be starting from $99 a month, mention that in your ads. Or if you only offer services for business to business, not business to customer, mention that in your ads. Or if you only focus on new installations and you don't cover any maintenance, mention that in your ads. What we're talking about here is that in your ad copy, you don't only want to get the click, but you want to set up the user so that they know before they even reach your website, what they can expect when they get to your website. So for me, I would rather miss the click for unqualified traffic and pay for that click when that person doesn't have the correct budget or isn't looking for the right service for what we're marketing. And I'd rather only get the clicks that I know are also well suited to our services and our products. Now this doesn't mean that by strengthening your ad copy, you're only gonna get qualified traffic and you're only, you know, everyone who clicks is gonna convert. But what you are doing is you're putting more and more things in your favor and you're giving people a clear expectation of when they get to your website what your prices are what your service quality is what your products are and that is a much better world for me because as I said there's no point just getting the click because we're wanting to get that click and that conversion so increase the strength of your ad copy and don't be afraid to isolate people who are not related to your products or your services and then the fourth way that you can reduce wasted spammy untargeted traffic is is by really taking a deep dive into your reporting and the segment functions that are available in Google Ads. And what you're wanting to do here is you're wanting to really take a deep dive into the data that you've got inside of Google Ads and you're wanting to block or close off any of those traffic areas based around location, based around keywords, based around ad copies that have significantly less conversions than other keyword themes, other locations, other ad copies. And to fully explain this, let's jump into a screen share so I can show you how to complete this process correctly. To use this segment function what you can do is go to segment then go into conversions and conversion action and what this does is this then breaks down the different conversion actions by the campaign and then you can also do it at the ad group level you can also do it at the keyword and the search term level so if you wanted to see it in the keywords here and then you can also see it in the search terms and you can also do it at the ads level now there are other levels that you can complete this segment function but they're the main ones that I'm looking at and let's just go back into the search terms now you can see through here we've excluded excluded this search term that was actually generating some conversions. But the reason for why we excluded that is because when we went, and I'm gonna show you this next step, when we went into, this was this was recording some phone calls, when we went into the call reports, we saw that over time, now we did this over a good 60 and 90 day period, we saw that these search terms were just generating low quality leads. So that's why we excluded them from this call lightning campaign. And another way that you can go around and do this is in your locations, especially if you're targeting some different locations when you use the segment function, you can really break down and start to see which are the locations which are giving you the high quality leads. And this is especially true if you run different conversion values based around your different conversion actions. What you need to do, so you look at that at stage one, the second area is that you want to
want to go into your report editor and this is especially I'm going to use the example here for call details now what I've done here is I've actually taken out there the full phone number but you can actually see the full phone number and I've also added in the search keyword and what this then allows us to do is that we were matching the keyword with these actual full phone call numbers which we've taken out for privacy and that then allowed us to really then build out a profile of what search terms were generating actual conversions as opposed to non-related phone calls. Another way that we looked at this as well is that we looked at the keywords that were generating the longer phone calls, but the best way is to work with the business and really give the full phone call numbers so that you can actually really pin down what is generating real conversions. And if you start to see any trends, that's when you can then come back and make those higher level conversion actions to block out some keywords that in Google Ads may be giving some good conversions, but when you look down to it, it's not really giving you the full data. So what you're really looking at doing there is once again, you're looking at using that segment function to segment it by conversions, looking at that at the ad group level, the keyword level, at search term level, and the ad copy level to really break down what is providing you a higher level of conversions. And the final thing that I wanna say when it comes to reducing your wasted spend in Google Ads, especially around spammy traffic, is that don't think you're gonna resolve this problem overnight. And it does sometimes take a period of weeks or even two or three months to really get on top of this. And what I just really wanna encourage you is the best way of going about this is going through the protocols that I explained. You know, firstly, making sure you're using Recapture version three on your website. Then also make sure you've got your location tagging set correctly to presence only. Then also going through your ad copy and taking some deeper dives into those segment functions that you've got and really look to find what is driving the highest quality conversions. So what's the traffic, what's the ad copy, what's the locations, what's the audiences that are driving the highest quality conversions for your business and then really look to focus your Google Ads campaign on those areas. Once again, thank you for joining me. It's been my absolute pleasure having you here. My name is Aaron Young from Define Digital Academy. And another great way that you can improve the performance of your Google Ads campaigns is to start your campaigns with the correct bidding strategy. And if you wanna see exactly how I start my new campaigns with the right bidding strategies, go through and watch this video right here. See you next time.